Hi, I'm Mike Zima. I'm an SEO expert and expat based in Mallorca, Spain. Today I'm going to talk about five SEO tips you can implement on your site today that will make a resounding impact. The first tip is going to be thinning out bad content or weak content on your site. The way you would do this is looking into your analytics and try to come up with criteria that can help you disqualify content that's not performing. If you're looking at it on a three, six, nine, 12 month range, you wanna build some benchmarks. If I'm looking at content, sometimes I look at any content that has under 100 organic sessions for a year, could be a possible bad fit for the site. And I wanna determine if I'm going to delete that content, if I'm going to merge that content with something else that already exists on my site that's performing better, or am I going to rewrite it and create a stronger piece of content, which brings me number two. It's looking at your content that should be performing better and evaluating how you can rewrite it and improve it. There's a couple of factors to consider. Maybe there's a resource you want to link out to that's helpful. Maybe there is an update to the content that has to happen because you wrote this so long ago, it's not evergreen. Perhaps you want to add more images and media. Perhaps you want to add a video. Those are all things you can consider to improve the content and also how well the content is written is very important. Number three is going to be your inner linking. If you are a hunting store and you, and you sell hunting shoes, you want to make sure that in the content of that blog article or that service page that you're describing, you're linking out to complementary things such as hunting jackets, hunting hats, and you want to make sure the user experience is flowing between these pages and you don't want to make too many links that's jumping around the content that's not getting people to the next place because Google is looking for the intent of a person's search. If they land on your site and they're visiting more pages, they're spending more time on your content and you're pages and your product pages, the more time that they spend is going to help you rank higher in Google. So that's why interlinking is important because you want to be linking out from your site and also out in your site to keep traffic and the context of your content strong and accurate. Number four, which kept me up all weekend this past Easter is speed, implementing speed. You've, hear, you've heard me talk about AMP pages and improving your page speed with AMP technology from Google is going to do that. There's a lot of ways to speed up your site and you don't only need AMP, but it is a good thing to consider since Google is pushing its AMP throughout its entire network. So if Google's adopting it in every focal point of its technology, it is a good thing to assume that if you adopt it on your site, you're going to have some longevity there as well. And number five is schema. I had another video talking about schema and its importance. Schema is how Google is going to classify information. If we're talking about blog posts and content here, Google can see when content was published, who the author was, the body of the text, all that information is going to be sucked up by Google and it will help it rank content better because it will have all the authority and trust signals and context around that content. So if you're using any of these tips in sequence or out of sequence, that's okay. These are all applicable in order to help your site rank better at SEO. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments here, drop something down here on YouTube and make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.